Hello and welcome to your Soul Space Meditation with Kath Temple. I've just been running a wonderful NLP Masters, I call them the Grand Masters, training this afternoon online. And one of the things we were looking at was relationships. And of course relationships in these times for many people are changed because they've become much more intense with families, perhaps in small spaces, spending a lot of time together and maybe irritating each other, maybe not everyone seeing the very best side of each other just at this moment, or maybe your experience is rather different, and I hope it is. But I thought today I would do a little something around relationships. I think you'll enjoy it. So I'm going to put my music on, DJ, DJ Temple, and uh, let's, let's have a little meditation around relationships. Here we go. Our music is Professor Misha Sadi, and this is a piece of music that he composed and he allows me to use for my work and for the work of the Happiness Foundation and it's called Inner Journey, his original music. So when you're ready, we're going to do our breathing technique that a lot of you already know. It's called the 7-Eleven breathing technique. It comes from the work of Professor John Gottman, who found it was a very fast state changer. And if you have a child with you, they can look at relationships too, but it's a 5-9 breath for the little people. And so here we go. Breathing in to the count of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In your mind and out for 11. When you're ready. And another. Feeling the breath rise within you. And out. Let it go, let it go, let it go. And one more. Feeling the sacred breath of life within you, the sacred breath of life expanding. And then let it go, let it go, let it go. Never ending cycle. And if it feels comfortable to you, and if it's safe to do so, just allow your eyes to close. And imagine for a moment that you're in the center of a circle. You're in the center of a circle. And around you in that circle are the people of your household, those that you're living with right now. Notice who's to your north, who's ahead of you. Who's to your east, to the right of you. Who is to your west, to the left of you. Who's to your south, behind you, is there anyone behind you? Or are they all around the visible circle? Just notice where each person is standing. There might only be one in your circle, there might be more than one. But we're going to take a look at your loved ones from a different perspective, from a different perspective, so that you can enrich the relationships that you're in and bring harmony in again. And maybe a little more fun, a little more laughter. So choose one of your relationships, it might be one with your partner if you have one, or one with one of the children, or a sister, or a brother, or a mother, or a father. Bring forward a significant relationship. And imagine you bring them forward from their position on the outer side of the circle, not right in next to you, but just a few feet away from you. And notice, as you gaze upon them, see what you see, hear what you hear, as they interact with you. And feel the feelings that you feel as you gaze in on them, 
and hear them speak to you. Notice the space between you and the energy in the space between you. And notice what that energy is. If the energy had a word, what is it? Is it love? Is it harmony? Is it excitement? What is it? Give it its name. And on a scale of one to 10, if 10 was the full expression of that energy, the full expression of love, or the full expression of contentment or excitement or passion, or whatever it is that is the name of that energy, 10 was as high as it could be, and one is, oh, holy camoly, needs a lot of attention. Just notice where on the one to 10 scale, you would say that that energy is in the space between you. And now notice, notice what you notice about them, how they interact with you, the energy that you receive from their eyes and face, their body language, their paralanguage, how they say what it is that they say. With what energy is it received by you? What's the content of the communication? Is it transactional? What are you having for your tea? Have you done the shopping? Have you put the kettle on? Is it transactional? Or is it more meaningful and rather deeper? Let's notice. And now notice, what is your hope for this relationship? What is your hope for this relationship? What do you want to have happen within it? How do you want to see the energy change? How do you want to see the energy change? do you want or need from them? What would you love them to start doing? And what would be the impact of that? What would you love them to stop doing? And what would be the impact of that? What would you love them to do more of? And what would be the impact of that? And what would you love them to do less of? And what would be the impact of that? And now, in the direction of your hope for the relationship, and the things that you would love to see change. What's your commitment? What can you start to do that would affect the very energy between you and the outcomes for the relationship? What can you stop doing? And notice the impact that would have. What could you do more of and notice its impact? And what could you do less of and notice the impact of that? And then make a commitment to do some of those things for all of the right reasons, in all of the right ways to have the relationship that you'd really love to lean into and to live into. And then let's do an extraordinary thing. Just imagine for a moment that the essence of you could just leave your body and lift up, up, up and out of your body 
and move across to just behind the person you've been focused on. And imagine you could enter into their being, into their sacred space, and from their perceptions, from their perspective, to gaze through their eyes at you with their perceptions, taking on their energy, seeing through their eyes, hearing through their ears, and feeling the feelings that they feel as they look at you. Notice from their perception and perspective what the energy is in the space between you. Just notice. And give it a name. What is that energy in the space between you? And on a scale of one to 10, 10 being the top score for that energy and one being holy carmoli. Whatever's happening, notice what score they would give the energy. And now notice their hope for this relationship. What is their hope? And from their perspective and perception, notice what they'd love you to start doing. And notice the difference that would make. Notice what they'd love you to stop doing. And see the difference that would make. Notice what they'd love you to do more of. And notice the impact of that. And notice what they'd love you to do less of. And notice the impact of that. And then when you have your insights, some new wisdoms and some new ways of seeing, just allow your energy to take a back step and come out of them and lift up and out and back down into your center point through and into you, gazing out at them again. And now gaze around your inner circle at the people that you live with and who are significant to you. And the process that we've just gone through, you could go through with each and every one of them and you'd feel the different energy in the relationship. You'd feel how you interact and are seen by each of the people who are important to you with whom you live. It's a very powerful, process to do. It will change things in a wonderful way, not just for you, but for them too. So take the time to listen to this again, make a commitment to do so, and to run it through with each and every one of the relationships in your inner circle, in your inner circle. And with that thought in mind, and a commitment and alignment too, to love. When you're ready and only when you're ready, open those eyes and awaken. And remember this, if you're not sure how to handle something or what to do or what to say, just pause and in your mind reflect upon what would love say? What would love do now? What would love say now? And what would love do now? Be the love in your relationships. Be the change that you wish to see in each and every one of your relationships. And remember, the first relationship is that with yourself. 
And from this relationship, let it be more loving. It forms the basis of all others. Thank you for being here. I hope you've enjoyed this meditation. Please share it with some others. And please mosey on over to my YouTube channel, Kath Temple. And you'll find my videos there. Subscribe. There's a few different ones there and I'm adding to them each day. Thank you, thank you. Share the post with some others. Give it a like and give it a share. Spread the love. Thank you. Namaste. The light in me bows to the light in you.